Ezra, let me bring you into this conversation. The Senate, in my view, ridiculously, is on vacation right now. But a small bipartisan group of senators is meeting to discuss whether they can reach consensus on very basic, very limited uh, set of policies to address gun violence, including an expansion of background checks. How confident are you that they will get it done? I'm not confident we're talking about the Senate here, but just because I'm not confident doesn't mean that it's impossible. We know that because of Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin, we can't get rid of the filibuster. They've refused to join with the other Democrats to do that. That means you need 10 Republicans on board. So am I saying that we need Mitch McConnell to do us a favor? No, Mitch McConnell is not going to do us a favor. The Republicans in the Senate are not going to do us a favor. But what we do know is that Mitch McConnell and the Republicans move when they perceive some amount of political threat, when they think, oh, if I don't back down, I am going to suffer politically. And so what our job is in this moment, I'm not talking about Democratic senators, I'm not talking about the president, I'm talking about all of us, all of us watching in this moment. Our job is to change the political calculus of those Republican senators. That means joining up with March for Our Lives on June 11th on protests all across the country. And it means taking a, a, a cue from the folks in Indivisible Houston, down in Houston, who found Ted Cruz in a restaurant and said, hey, why are you against common sense gun violence prevention laws. Get behind us in this. We so, need everybody, whether you've got a Democrat or a Republican, getting involved in this moment and changing what's politically possible. So you mentioned, uh, Ezra, the, uh, the Ted Cruz incident. We have tape of that. That was an activist uh, from your group confronting Senator Ted Cruz right after we attended the NRA convention that took place three days after the shooting in Uvalde. Let's have a look at that clip, and then I'll, I'll get your reaction on the other side. You need to make it harder for people to get guns in this country, sir. You know that. No, you know that. But you stand here. You stand at the, you stand at the NRA convention. It is harder. It is harder when there are more guns to you stop gun violence. It is not ignorant. You don't know what you're talking about. We are in this country and there are guns everywhere. And there are kids dying. There are kids dying. Why is it so hard? Why did this keep happening? If you were in his face, I'm... And why did you come here to the convention to take blood money? Why? When 19 children died, 19 children died. That's on your hands. That is on your hands. Ezra, we're not aware of any public response from Ted Cruz to that clip or incident yet. But I have to ask, as much as I enjoy watching that, and I'm sure many people at home think, yes, that is the thing to do, can you really shame people who have no shame? Oh, no, you can't shame Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is probably going to fly over to Cancun next week, I'm sure. That's what he likes to do. The point here isn't to shame Ted Cruz. The point here is to make it very, very clear to everybody watching, not just folks watching us right now, but everybody at home watching who... Uh, is not a partisan on this issue, isn't a, you know, a Republican or a Democrat or an independent. They just want common sense gun laws. And they are watching interactions like this between Ted Cruz and his constituents, where Ted Cruz says, you don't know what you're talking about. We need to face a reality in this country that there is a marginal, radical, MAGA extremist faction of the Republican Party that is controlling policy for the entire nation. They are a radical, dangerous minority. We are the normal yes. majority. And if we well, take the fight to them, and this is on guns, this is on abortion, this is on contraception, this is on teachers, this is on schools, this is on our democracy. We are in the majority, yes. they are in the minority. And if we well, take the fight to them, it makes it more difficult for them to prevent us from doing popular things.